Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another session of Life of Minecraft. Mm -hmm. I did it right this time. This time I didn't almost say Minecraft Libras as well, because um, that's my other series, and that's going to continue later. Um, anyways, here we are. Um, I don't know why I'm in here. I decided to start in there. It's really pretty. Um, okay. Let's see. So, what I want to do today is a major project. If this is a lot, this is a lot of building. So, forewarning, if you don't like a lot of boring building, uh, um, you're more an adventure kind of person or whatever, then, you know, maybe just skip four episodes. Um, I don't know. Or just, you know, <laughs> I mean, some people two speed videos. Let's go to bed. So it can be the next day. Fresh start of a day. Yeah, for warning, it's gonna be a lot of building. Um, I did a lot of stuff off camera. As you can tell, there's some new stuff. Um, I will tour it as, like, at the same time that I'm, like, going around. Oh, that's an Enderman's drop, by the way, because he decided to, like, pick up something from over there. Asshole. Um, I was hoping he didn't pick from my little hillside. But, um, yeah, as you can see, I've updated a lot of the area. I don't know what I did last. I know I was doing that. Um, I finished it. And then, um... As you can see, I have cocoa beans, finally, and I have acacia trees over here. Um, I have jungle trees. There's one way over there, but it's kind of blending in. Um, I also blocked this off because one of my villagers likes to just go into the nether and explore, and I'm like, can you not? <laughs> you can kill yourself. I also have been mining, so I have a lot more coal, uh, more iron. I found a few more diamonds. Not as much, but, you know, it's hard to find them when you're just regular splunking. Okay, and I did make sure to collect saplings from these places, and I and I reproduce these cocoa beans like crazy. So now we can have cookies. Um, so we have jungle logs and acacia logs. These are good for customization of the building that I want to do. Go ahead and grab this. Um, let's see, any other house building materials I could use? At the moment, no. But, yeah, nothing else in here. I think it's all down in the little uh, warehouse, which I have filled up a little bit more now. Hi, Bepis Bear. Um, I've also filled up the food thing a little bit more. So now we just have, we have meats and veggies and fruit. So yeah, it's for everybody. I already put the layout of the house. So that's why I have these wood blocks out. How big I want the house to be. And imagine this big, kind of an L shape. Um, that's how big I want the house to be. It's going to be a mansion, actually. So we're upgrading to a mansion, and that's why it took so long. It's just I was kind of planning, and I'm not. I've been uninspired because you know, growing up as an adult who goes into a boring life, you kind of lose your creativity, and it's just like, oh shoot, now I gotta sit there and figure out how to get it back. And it's taken a while, but you know, I'm gonna try my hand at doing some more um, creative building stuff, so I can kind of practice that out again. Um, let's see. What else could I use material-wise? <laughs> I think all my building stuff is back here. Yeah, definitely. Ink glass up the ass. We have glass forever. We have these fancy materials here too as well. Take like a few blocks of each. Oh, we need more quartz than that. And then diorite. Uh, let's see. And then andesite. I guess all of it, since there's not much. Oh, there's more acacia. I didn't even notice that. I'll take that. Um, we'll take some normal cobblestone. And then... Let's see. Sorry, I know going through chests is annoying, but... Um, just I have to, just to like find where stuff is. I'm still like lost on where I have all my stuff. Okay, I think I am good on materials. I'm carrying, oh gosh, I'm carrying these, but I want more, yeah, give me some more, just in case, um, and then if we need any regular, and I have a full inventory, so let's go ahead and go out here, and let's get started on this, so, let's start on the back side here, well, I don't really know what's going to be the front side, I kind of haven't designated that yet, but for now, Let's just plop down our handy little crafting table because our inventory is full. And let's make ourselves a handy little chest to hold all these building materials because I keep throwing it down on the ground. There we go. And logs first. There we go. Glass. Special rock. 
No, wait, that is quartz. There you go. Uh, let's separate those. Those are close to each other. They look close. And there we go. Um, wonderful. So I already marked it out. Let's take out the trees that are going to fall in the middle of it. They were mostly for, like, you know, reproducing. So I can have a lot of the material. Otherwise, it's going to take forever to just find acacia and then collect it. And, ugh. Wouldn't have been as fun to watch. I try to make a lot of the boring, like, build-ups to projects um, off camera, just so that way, you know, we can just do it straight up when we get on camera. Uh, this one's in the way. Get rid of this. Yay! And then this one is very close. I think it's only going to bother because of the leaves. Going, You know, going three stories high. So I think if we just give her a little trim... Sorry, right, you're going to trim your hedges. There you go. Cutie. I like that little pixie cut you got going. <laughs> okay, and then this one. All right. And this tree is fine, except for up here again. There we go. Push it back a little. And any flowers that are in the way. So I'm just getting over sickness. So I might sound a little bit like this. But you know, it's it's fine. <laughs> I took my medicine. Yesterday. <laughs> Not today's, because it's it's sleepy time. I didn't feel like buying daytime. Because I was like, no, if I'm going to fight this, I'm going to fight this hard. And my sleep. So I decided to use nighttime to knock me out. Because I've been restless lately. Oh. Well, these can stay here. This will be like the outside right here. This is the outer wall. Okay, is that everything that's out of the way? How's this tree? Is this in the way? I think it's just on the border of the way. Yeah. I'm trying to envision this house. Some of you guys are going to be like, I can't really see what you're trying to do, but you'll see it. It'll slowly come together. Um, if I could give it a style, like a name for the style that I'm going for, I don't know. I think maybe um, Colonial? I could say... I don't know. I, I really just build out of the mind. I don't really. So if it looks like a time period, then, well, I guess it is. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just like, oh, is it? <laughs> uh, that's kind of how I build. I just throw it together. Like these. These kind of look stony and weird. They kind of look stone age, maybe. But there wasn't glass, so maybe Middle Ages? I, I don't even know. I can't really place a time on certain Minecraft buildings. It's when you really try hard and add too much detail that you're like, oh, yeah, definitely. That's like 1940s. Like, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> some people are really good at building Minecraft Victorian houses. And I'm like, holy fuck. Build me one. Okay. Cool. Almost out of the way. It'll, it'll decay. This day is already almost over? Holy crap. That was fast. I guess doing trees and gardening and all that takes like a lot of time. Okay. Get all that out of my way. Actually, we can add this to the uh, chest now that we have more material. There we go. Okay. Um. Now, what am I thinking? So. Oh, okay. Let's make... Since we have plentiful on the dark oak logs. I only grabbed one stack. <laughs> When I should have just known, like, hey, I'm probably going to need a lot. Let's go four up. And then, oh gosh, we need to fall down now. There we go. That's how you save yourself from breaking your armor into pieces. And let's go up this way, this one. Start to get some kind of erection. Hee <laughs> hee. No, but like technical terms, it is erecting a building. So let's get some kind of building set up. Oy. Ouch. Two, three, four. Boop. And boop. Oh, I also found another mending book, Fishing, so I was able to add it to my freaking diamond axe now. So now I have it on all my tools. Yay! I love the freaking Luck of the Sea and the um, Lure enchantments. Oh my gosh, they work so well together. 
Either I have like a million stacks of fish or I have like all these beautiful treasures. I almost don't even need to have an enchanting table <laughs> with how many books I find. But, you know, it, it makes the process a little faster. Just using magic. Okay. So we have the first floor marked out. It's going to be three tall like that. And then to make it go across, let's do some cobblestone. Cobble. Cobble. Um, go across. Just go straight across for now. It's very basic. You know what? Actually, it might look very 1800s because it's going to be stone and wood. And some old glass, like beautiful colored stained glass. That's what it's going to look like. I see it now. It's going to be like those houses that you go through in Amnesia when you're running away from a monster. <laughs> it's going to have a wine cellar. Okay, up the hill we go. We'll take a nappy. There's freaking nighttime. Builder's nightmare. Come on. I mean, I would build at night, but... And my area is very safe. It's just, I don't... I need to see more, and it's just me. I need to see more butts. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I almost had it. <laughs> oh, man. That is still there. I'm going to just send it. All right, let's go down. Smack that ass. Oh. Oh, there's a little cave thing underneath me. When I was terraforming, there's like a little like cave system right here. And I guess I didn't light it up all the way properly. So there's a skeleton under there. Oh, let's waste this small stack first. There we go. Just so we can free up inventory space in the chest to bring more material out. Three there. And this way. And I guess we meet it up. Oop. Yee. Okay, so that's that. Now I think I want to take some stone brick and reinforce the corners even more than you already see. There we go. Am I gonna need more? I think I'm gonna need more. Oh man. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Gimme, give gimme. Give more please. Yeah, I've been pract I've been prepping like crazy off camera. So I've been cooking cobblestone, I've been cooking um all the iron ore. Not that I'm gonna use it for anything in the build, but like I just like to have it for my tools. But also, what's the point now? Maybe I should use it for builds. Since now I'm all diamond up and like I'm never gonna lose these diamond tools. <laughs> I mean as long as I take care of them. If I forget to like heal one, it's alright. What I usually do is I go on a healing journey where I put this in this inventory slot and then I like go and like mine like um I mine coal or I defeat um bad guys and then I use their XP for it. That's what I did with this axe. It was basically almost broken and then I healed it up that much. So and that took a long time too, so healing journeys like that take a while. It's kind of tool therapy. Okay. Now there's weird dimensions. I try to make sure the dimensions were like odd number or even numbers. So I mean this one's like the only odd one, because then the glass is gonna be like this one pane, which is cool. I like that. I kind of ended up a, a cool way. It was one longer, but I, I don't know. I pulled it back a little bit. Now, let's see. I think we're going to go back and forth between these three in combination. The walls. Um, the way I'm going to do it is let's start with this front wall. I, I know there's going to be a door entrance here. So we can go in. And I think I'll make a door entrance for exit. Either on that wall or this side. Hell, maybe even both. That way, because if it's a mansion, usually they have multiple entrances. So I, I'm, yeah, gonna do it like that. 